Hello, my name is Sarah Hansen and I'm an Esri instructor. Today, I'm going to show you how you can define a map or scene in ArcGIS Pro as floorware. The term floorware applies to maps and scenes that contain indoor GIS data that are organized hierarchically such that features are associated to a level, levels are associated to a facility, and facilities are associated to a site. Let's take a look at this together. Configuring Floorer maps will require ArcGIS Pro version 2.8 or later and is a two-step process. First, you're going to set the map properties, and second, you will set the layer properties for any layer in the map or scene that contains features that are tied to a specific floor. Any layer that you don't define as floorware will not be affected by the interactive floor filter and will instead always be visible. At a minimum, your map or scene will need to include two layers, one layer that represents the facilities, and second, a layer that represents the levels within the facilities. We are going to start by specifying these in the map properties. From the map properties dialog box, navigate to the indoor layers tab. Setting the site's parameter is optional, but is used by organizations whose indoor data has facilities grouped into sites, like a college campus, for example. Here, I only have one site, so setting the site's parameter won't be necessary. If you create your indoor data set using the tools available from within the ArcGIS Indoors toolbox, you will have a well-defined schema which supports configuring floor aware maps and scenes, but it isn't required. If you created your indoor feature classes without using the geoprocessing tools from the ArcGIS Indoors toolbox, these are the required fields. From the facilities feature class, we need facility ID, name, and site ID. From the levels feature class, we need level ID, name, short name, level number, facility ID, and vertical order. And if you are going to include the sites layer, then you'll need site ID and name in the sites feature class attribute table. The next step is going to be to configure the layer properties for any layer in the map or scene that has features which are tied to a specific floor. Open the layer properties and navigate to the floors tab. Here, you need to specify the column in the attribute table that contains the floor field. For my units feature class, it is named level ID. The information stored within this column must match the level ID from your levels feature class. I'll open up the attribute table for my levels feature class and we'll compare it side by side. Here you can see that it's a key field with the information matching between the two tables. Next, I'm going to repeat this process for all of the layers in my map that have features that are tied to a specific floor, specifying the floor field in the layer properties for each layer. Now, notice in the top right corner of the map that we have an interactive floor filter. We can filter by site if specified, filter by facility, and then filter by level within the facility. Here, we're looking at level two and now level three. Making your maps or scenes floor aware means that you can visualize your indoor spaces by floor or level to determine where changes to seating assignments might improve team proximity, maintain social distancing requirements, or better conserve resources. Note, sharing floorware maps and scenes to a portal will require either ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Enterprise version 10.9.1 or later. I hope you found this demonstration useful. Thanks for watching.